All right, guys, two spray diesel fuel on asphalt millings. Good idea or bad idea? Stick with me and I'll give you my thoughts. So here's where this video comes from. If you guys haven't seen, I believe it's been about two or three weeks ago, I posted a video called uh, Redneck Paper My Driveway. But we used asphalt millings and put them down my driveway and i got a tremendous amount of comments on this video which was awesome i appreciate each and every comment i can't thank you guys enough even if i don't agree with it or if you don't like what i did i still want to hear from you guys so i appreciate that but one thing that came up a lot was a lot of people suggested i need to spray diesel fuel on them and before i ever posted that video or ever even put the first load of millings on my driveway I uh, reached out to some local people and did a little research myself. And that's also something that kept coming up from those guys, is spray diesel fuel on them. So instead of just assuming that was a good idea, I got to thinking about that and did a little research myself. And uh, yeah, this is how I kind of come to the conclusion of, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay guys, I got a brother-in-law in the paving business with over 15 years experience and over the years he's told me of several different scenarios where they use diesel fuel on the job site. For example, the truck drivers will spray their beds down to keep the asphalt from sticking in their trucks. They'll spray the back of the paver down to keep asphalt from sticking to the screen and other components on the back of the paver. Heck, they'll even spray their hand tools down their shovels and wrecks to keep the asphalt from sticking to it. So with this knowledge in hand, I'm thinking, how whenever you spray diesel fuel on millings it magically makes them stick together when it keeps it from sticking to everything else it don't, it don't make any sense to me so i ran this scenario past ryan and he looked at me like i like i was an idiot or something like that's the worst possible thing you can do to asphalt millings is spray diesel fuel on them all right guys so the next logical thing to do in this process or what at least it was for me was to Google diesel fuel and asphalt. And the results are crazy. Like my theory is it's on Google. It's gotta be true. I mean, if there's only two people that's always right in this world and it's Google and my wife. But look, one of the first things to show up is driveway scammers use diesel fuel. And if you scroll on down, it talks about how, uh, how to replace Diesel fuel melts asphalt. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, like every thing that comes up is how detrimental diesel fuel is the asphalt. So again, I ask you, why do we think it's a good idea to spray them on millings? So long story short, the best way I know how to explain this in a nutshell is diesel fuel is the asphalt as paint thinner is the paint. It basically breaks it down and if you spray diesel fuel on it, you're eventually gonna end up with rocks and sand, which is what it started, because it's gonna break down all the asphalt. So there is a couple different theories, or a couple other theories behind the diesel fuel and asphalt millings. And I've had a few people comment this, and it's probably my favorite one is, you need to put the diesel fuel down and then light it on fire. I'm thinking, yeah, let me call my insurance company and get clearance on that. You're going to do what? Light the road to your house on fire? <laughs> just, oh boy. I guess if you're out in the middle of no man's land, it's worth a try. But common sense tells me lighting the road on fire that goes to my house is probably not a good idea. So let me kind of give you a real world example of why I think this is a bad idea. And you guys maybe never realized this or thought about this, but have you ever noticed that every fuel station or every fuel dock always has concrete around the pumps? The reason for that is, is because the fuels break down the asphalt if you got them there. If you rarely ever see it, but occasionally you'll see one, I have seen a few, where they got asphalt up by the fuel pumps, especially the diesel fuel pump, guarantee there will be a pothole there that fuel will eat it alive in absolutely no time that's why almost every gas station has concrete around the fuel pumps because the asphalt will not hold up to it and the diesel fuel or even gas will dissolve the asphalt and turn it back into mush and mush and you just got a mess so just kind of confirms my theory 
the diesel fuel and asphalt, unless you don't want it to stick to something, ain't the best idea. Don't forget to check out the water slide in the background there. I'll put a link to those videos where you can see us building that cool thing. All right, guys, so that begs the question, if diesel fuel is a bad idea, what's a good idea? I personally think you need two things to successfully put millings down and get them to bind together. One is heat, the second is compaction. Now I've seen a bunch of you guys comment on there about tiger torches and different things like that or uh, putting them through a paver with a reheater. I think those are all excellent ideas if you got access to them. What I personally found is for what we were doing in our climate and this time of the year is if you can get these things put down at the right time, that sun, that big old hot thing up there in the sky will most likely provide all the heat you need to get these things to bind back together and you won't have to do anything extra to them. Now, like I said, if you get in a different climate or if you got a spot where it's shady and the sun can't hit it or you're doing it in the fall or spring or I don't know if the winter would be a good idea, there is a chance you're going to have to apply some heat to get some compaction on these things to get them beat together. Now, as far as rollers go, I personally think a tired roller, some sort of rubber tired roller, works better on millings than a steel drum. And the reason for that is, is these things are not um, consistent aggregate. You got chunks, you got large chunks, big chunks, small rocks, big rocks. And a steel drum will hit the high spots and miss the low spots. With a, with a rubber tired roller, it'll kind of more evenly roll it out. That's just my two cents worth. That's my suggestions on the two things that are key. Obviously, you need to have enough millings and you need to have a good base and all that stuff. But as far as the millings itself, heat and compaction. All right, guys, there it is. That's been down for about three months now. That is nothing more than compaction and heat. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much asphalt again. I have not done diesel fuel. I have not done anything except for put the millings down. Let the sun back on them and compact them with a loaded truck. I am tickled to death with it. It is absolutely awesome. Now, if you want to do something, I, I do think you need to do something to protect them to get longer life out of them. And there's, there is some different sealers on the market that I think are viable options, um, especially if you're going to do a smaller area. I got a rather large area. I got 700, foot, 700 plus feet of driveway large parking area down here. What my plan is, is I'm hoping to uh, chip and seal it next spring. And basically, if you guys don't know what chip and seal is, basically they come in and with a, what they call tack. Uh, tack is a combination of basically asphalt and tar. It's a real sticky, thin layer. They spray it down and then basically you sprinkle rock in it and the rock, the tack seals it off and it also holds them rocks in and gives it just a real thin top layer on there. Um, you can use different types of rock. I'm probably gonna to try to use pea gravel, mainly because it's rounded and the tires won't grab it and pull it out of there as much. Uh, but there, there's, there is some things you can do to uh, protect it and prolong it. So again, I guess to recap, if you wanna spray it with diesel fuel and paint it black and make it look good, it'll do that. It won't do anything to help it stick together. If you want it to stick together, heat, compaction. That's your two best friends. So guys, as always, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you on the next one. One other thing I wanted to say is I want to know what your guys' thoughts are and what your guys' experiences are. If you get a chance, comment down below and let me know.